Hey guys, I'm Kat from the motorhome travel website Wandering Bird. Today we're going to look around four more motorhomes that are sub six meters and one of them is one that we really nearly almost bought before we changed to our latest motorhome but honestly it's lovely. So I'm really looking forward to showing you them. A couple of quick things before we get into it. If you're new to this channel, hi, welcome. If you find this video helpful we would love it if you subscribed. We share tips for motorhome travel across the UK and Europe and we share a mix of destination videos and also some tips to help you get going and make the most out of your motorhome. Lastly, if you are looking to buy a motorhome or a camper van, which is a really good idea right now because you are in your own enclosed little space, but if you are in the market or thinking about it, we've put together an ebook with step-by-step -step guides on the sort of things to think about whilst you're looking. Because what's the right sort of motorhome for us, or for your neighbour, or for your friend down the road, or for the opinionated person on Facebook, it's probably not going to be what's right for you in your personal situation. So we've put together a way of looking at it so that you can decide what's important, what's not, and when you spend an awful lot of money on a motorhome or camper van, you can be sure that it's right for what you're going to use it for. If you'd like to get a copy of that, there's a link in the video notes below and it'll take you there and you can start finding your perfect van if you do buy one i'd absolutely love to know what you get either tag me on instagram or on facebook or come and join our wandering bird facebook group and post some photos i'd love to see them right that's enough for me let's go have a look at some motorhomes okay this is a sunlight sun van v60 which is what are we on 5.95 meters see three and a half tons payload of 840 Thank you very much, Loudons, for being useful. Got two berths, four travel suits. Got a massive garage at the back. Like, literally, you could live in that. Well, maybe not. Maybe not willingly. But it's a nice big size garage for a, a less than six metre van. Let's go and have a, a nosy. I'm not sure I've ever been in a sun van before. But, nice diner area. And then you've got your sunroof and a decent bit of storage around here. This reminds me of almost of our first motorhome. It's a kind of similar layout. Nice. What a chassis is it? Oh, it's a Fiat. And then if I swing round, you've got... Now, we used to have a bed that you had to go up ladders. To get to and it was okay to be fair looking at that you probably could just sit up should i try it should i try and i think i might kill myself you up and you can stay there I'm hoping you can see that okay. i don't think you could not that much and i've got that much i'm not sure you could sit up in that I also don't think you saw any of that, but I don't think I could sit up in bed on that. Which would drive me mad. You could if you were floating. But then underneath here you've got... Oh, you've got like an extra garagey bit. Well, that's neat. That's clever. Has that got a rail in it? Wow, oh, that's really cool. There you go. So again, this is a sub six metre van with a huge amount of payload. It's got 840 on the payload. Nice hob and foldy down sink, I like those. And then you've got a fridge and a freezer and a little oven. That's really smart. It is smart. It's a baby one. It's 5.7 metres. What are we on? 3.3. Can't get the whole thing in but I will try an Eldis 115. Now this is interesting because normally in an end kitchen the fridge is around the corner and that's not, that's there. Got a nice microwave at the top. I like these as well. I'm guessing they do something. There we go. At least once a year I get stuck. Is there a catch? There's a catch. Aha! I, there we go. Oh, they're nice. And then inside, nice upholstery, like that. Huge wardrobe. This is only 5.7 metres. Mikey. So this is a wet room, but again, keep the shower, like keep the shower and the toilet separate. Right, got to be done. Got to be done. Yeah, not bad. It's not bad. This 
is obviously what makes up your bed. And then under there, it's all good. And what chassis is this one? It's a Peugeot. Nice. We've got a really cute little skylight. I'm guessing the light doesn't stay there all the time. I don't like the catches, but I think that's just because I'm not used to them yet. Ah, so that one pushes down. Yeah. It's quite sweet. I quite like it. It's Diddy. It's 5.7 metres, for goodness sake. It is Diddy. For two of you, it's great. And there's lots of room. Look at the headroom. Look at the headroom. This is in there's a step here, and then you come down, I've got even more. That's nice. I like that. I want to see what a Fiat Ducati van looks like without the van on. There you go. That's the chassis. Nice. So, plant not included, but this is the Auto Trail Tribute F62. It is 5.9, gross weight up to three and a half. You've got four berths and two seat belts. Let's continue. I can get around the back. So it's obviously got an end bathroom, I would surmise. Oh, I, see, I like the umbrella holder. I think it's cute. Oh, hello. So this it's got drop down bed and it's got it's, all right. <laughs> it's nice isn't it why do you like this van I'll tell you why do you mind me videoing you while you answer yeah no problem go for it right let me microwave i'll tell you why go on it's a nice compact it's van. nice isn't it you've got your drop down bed here yeah you've got two bench seats yes we can make it into a double bed yeah and we've got a nice it's got uh, kitchen loads area, area swim line fridge yeah. Can you do the funky chicken in the shower? It's a test I do on all of my Go videos. On, Go, on, Go on then. I'll do the funky chicken. You've got to do the funky Go chicken. Go on. Go on. <laughs> There's no point if you can't wash your hair. You can, you see? Yeah. <laughs> nice fun. It's lovely. And the headroom's nice as well, isn't it? Oh, I tell you what, it's not that good on height. Drive me mad, that. There you go. 5'11". It's not going to work. It's a Ford. It's a Ford chassis. Which turn are you? I'm wandering bird. What are you? I have watched a few. Oh, have you? Yeah, I have, yeah. Uh, the motor one. Oh, cool. Nice. Uh, yeah, people look good. Yeah, awesome. So this is an Eldis Accordo 120. Now, I'm trying to read while I'm filming, which is bad, but you can read with me. It's all good. They're waiting for me to stop wittering. How long is this one? Six metres. Six metres? How much is the maximum weight? I've been trying to read your thing and I couldn't do it. I can't, I can't do reading. 3-3. Three, three. No, it is 3-3. Three, three. Mm. Why did it say six metres? Am I being stupid? Yeah, I am. 5 nine, nine. There we go. Yeah, so that one to there. Length 599. And that one to there. Width. Weight. Nice. Payload. Yeah, see, payload's good. Payload's brilliant. Yeah, payload is good. Cool. So, we looked at one of these when we went to change our van. Hello, gang, I've got a coat on. And then, oh, yeah, see, now this is slightly different. One thing we didn't like, we didn't like the fact that you couldn't make that into a proper whole thing. But, do you like all the catches? Now I go in there. I like the little galley and the sink. We've got a decent fridge, which is quite nice. Oh, it's all brand new and shiny. And it's also got massive wardrobe. Oh, look. I like that. That's neat. Like a little pull-up table. That's really neat. How very useful. Quite impressed with that. Okay, now I can't get it down. Shh. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry for feeling seasick. I apologise. Let's have a look in the bath. Let's have a look in the bathroom. Nice. I like how they have a helpful reminder on there, don't you? Very smart. So if I stand here, you can see down it. No, oh, it's nice. 
move my scarf off the way, I'm making a mess. And then at the front, we've got Peugeot. Peugeot Chachi is nice. Yeah, very smart. We are out. We're talking about 